Hello there, this is Paul from CloudQuant. We're going to go over today how to write your first script. So first of all, we're going to select Scripts tab at the top, My Scripts, Create New Script. We're going to give it a name, first underscore script, and we're going to use a predefined template. Uh, empty template will just return your blank editor. Now, these are all the callbacks that the system can do for you on CloudQuant Lite. So we've got uh, on strategy start, on strategy finish, is symbol qualified, backtesting extra symbols, init, on start, on finish, and on minute bar. Uh, today we're only going to use two of these. We're going to use is symbol qualified, first of all. Uh, now, when the system calls you through this uh, call, you will get some data, CLS symbol, MD service, and account. Today we're only interested in symbol. And what happens with this symbol qualified, when the scripts are first spun up, there are over 8,000 equities in the US, and it spins up a script for each one, and it, depending on what you return from is symbol qualified, that script will continue to run or it will be shut down. So if you return true, it will run, if you return false, it will be shut down. So we're going to use symbol, S-Y-M-B-O-L, equals equals, double equals for Python, and then we're going to put in the name of a symbol, MSFT, Microsoft. So all 8,000 will pass through here, and most of them will be false, but Microsoft will be true, so only one script will run. The only other thing we're going to do is on start, and we get some information passed to us for that, but we're not going to use those for now. We're just simply going to print. Print, and what we're going to print is just Microsoft. And that's all there is to it, huh? misspelled Microsoft. And we're going to save that script up here. Saved successfully, new test. We're just going to run one day from 10.9 to 10.9, doesn't matter what date you select. Core hours only, 9.30 to 4 o'clock, and we're going to click Submit. Now, we need to go to the Results tab to see that back test, and we can see we've got one test running, 16.11. Click on that, chart will load once the data is available, back test in progress, estimated time remaining. Estimated time remaining is if you run multiple days, once a few days have completed, it will use the time it took to complete those days to estimate how long it's going to take to do the rest of your back test. Down here, we can see we're only running 2017-10-9. We click on that. And in the console window, where any print comes through, we can see that we haven't even got progress. Now we're getting progress. We already had Microsoft down there at the bottom. So this script was successful. In the next script, we'll try how to do a few extra symbols.